at first, like, I always thought Wizards album was better than David, like, by a mile in terms mm-hmm. of, like, overall quality, it being an album, like, the whole sequence, song selection, like, everything just seemed like, yes, this is, like, a good body of work, but bro, like, after, like, put them, like, maybe, like, on the same level still, you know? Stop being political. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Wizards album on his own is definitely, it's, it's amazing, it's dope, it's crazy, like, they're sending melodies that I hear, like, oh, wow, that's, like, something that a, a young, like, let's say a new upcoming Wizard will probably think of, you know what I'm trying to say? So, like, those kind of, like, you know, him doing those kind of things just shows that he still has a lot more, like, vibes to give, you know? when Because this album, because I think Fresh sent me something, and everyone was saying, like, this album actually means a lot to Wiz because everyone was criticizing Wiz, saying, oh, he's not come through for a minute, all that kind of stuff, and he delivered, so. Let me tell you something. A lot of Nigerians did not like sounds from the other side. I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> I actually loved it. Like, I like when Wiz gives us this mature international r&b slash calm vibes that's the whiz me i actually like personally i'll choose yeah. that over jai jai whiz and all those other type of whiz Tell me. see if if no girl is telling whiz anything and there's no there's no waste that's whining the song may not be mad <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we need to hear that from whiz <laughs> yeah 100%. oh bro like yeah, so, man. That mm. because he's that kind of artist yeah the downside is potentially what losing his African legacy, would you say? Because, like you said, I love sounds from the other side. Like, with yeah. that global artists. But would you rather be, would you rather go and, you know, go and um, compete with the rest of the world or just be a champion at home and be competing with the rest of the world from home? Do you know what I mean? I think he's doing, I think you can do both. David O kind of does both, though. Yeah, but David O's doing both by, I, I'll tell you what I mean by that. So, David went. David grew up in America. Is educated. Went to school and whatnot. Wiz obviously came through the ranks from Ojolegba or whatever, and he adapted very, very well. But isn't it funny how most of David's songs he's speaking Yoruba? This is someone that didn't grow up speaking Yoruba. Wiz grew up speaking Yoruba. Most of his songs he's speaking English. Mm. David is searching cultural, like, do you know what I mean? Appreciation, like speaking deep Yoruba parables in his verse, in his verses, mm-hmm. while Wiz is more simplistic English, you know, and vibe. So in the long, in the long run, do you think it affects or it can affect their legacies? I think it will. What do you guys I think? think so. a tough one. I don't, I mean, I, don't I think, think Wiz has gone to a level where like, Lex is kind of like protected at this point. Exactly, that's what I think already. Yeah, like, I think so protected. Well, past legacy, though. Not they're that definitely le- there are definitely levels to it now, for sure. Yeah, yeah, cool. But like, I don't even think that he needs more like Afro, like type hits, classics to like stamp yeah. him even further. I don't think so. Yeah. So, ten years, from, ten years from now, when when um you you know when you're getting married or your kids are getting married or whatever. And they play Joe, they play Fire, they play like, like David will be able to play like a hundred records of him speaking Yoruba and being at home in that culture yeah. will mean more to you than hearing. She tell me not to stuff. No, of course, of course, I understand that now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, man, like, you know, Wiz's first album is a classic. Yeah. And all those. Features and everything he has done on this whole Afrobeat speed will obviously stand the test of time. Do you know what I'm saying? You think that and look probably- at and look at David's David's biggest international song is Fall. Do you know what I'm saying? And he's speaking English, yeah. Like literally, like speaking English, he introduced the Pong Pong sound. Actually, actually broken English. Money for mm. everyone. Because I'm in love with you. I don't talk into my don't talk and if I offend you. Trust me, he's speaking normal English in the whole world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. It's just that whole sample of you know what I'm saying? Like he paid with a lot of a lot of stuff that we're already familiar with. Yeah, you know, banana fall on you thing, the whole you know, artists reposting all these blows, guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? So what, bro, what, trust what, me. Yeah, sure. If we about to know, do you, do you think people think that 
David's wins, like for example, how he just dropped the album, like five songs are charting, breaking this mm-hmm. record. Who do people think that it's a it's a machine behind it? You know, I heard someone say when they were saying that they already reached is it ten million streams or something. People are saying that it's fake. Look, man, people think David definitely fabricates numbers, and no one can vouch at the end of the day, right? But it's very believable and it's very achievable. Yeah, I, I, yeah. because. I don't even know why at this point, yeah. David has the most followers on Instagram. Yeah. Ronaldo has the most followers on Instagram, more than Ariana Grande, Kaido, all of them. Ronaldo repost his. Sh- Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He has Nikki. We haven't. We we literally hardly hear from Nikki these days. Nikki's fan base is one of the craziest fan bases in hip hop. Period. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. These numbers are very easy to attain now. Oh, also, do you think? Um... If it was the label manipulating his numbers, surely yeah. obviously Wiz is, um, is signed to the same label, right? Exactly. Of well, course, well, they should do it for Wiz too. Yeah. The Alternative Network.